to be fair, this is a gaming related video, and it's a video about my history with what might be one of the longest running franchises in Electronic Arts' history. So yeah, this is my history with The Sims. I have been a fan of The Sims since the very beginning. I bought the original game right as it came, a year or two or so after it came out, I don't really remember. I, I was, but yeah, I played the heck out of this game and was addicted to it, and even managed to somehow get member, members of my family addicted to it as well, which is kind of weird, if you think about it. I was addicted to this game. I wasn't aware of the, the fan community, or I was one a very sadistic little kid, though. I was one of the few people that did the infamous diving board trick and everything, so yeah. Sorry to admit to that. A multitude of expansion packs for the original Sims. I only had one of them. The Sims live in large. And to be fair, I, other than the Grim Reaper and the Genie and the zombies and stuff, I don't really remember this game that well. I'm sorry to say. So, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, a few years went by. I hadn't played The Sims in a long time. Then, I saw this on a shelf. I bought it. I installed it. I was addicted to The Sims 2, and then I got addicted to the modding community, of course. It wasn't until much later that I uh, realized that a lot of the mods needed some of the expansion packs. <laughs> Hard to think. But yeah. Okay, to be fair, I'm sorry about the glare. This might have been the first expansion pack for The Sims 2 I bought because I needed it for the cars. But yeah, this was the first one I think I bought. I don't remember. And then came this, The Sims 2 University, which I think I downloaded because needed to buy because of the zombies and everything, and some parts of the expansion, some of the mods I needed needed this one as well to be in, this one to be installed so I can use them. And then there is the final uh, of the expansion packs I I bought, which was The Sims 2 Open for Business. I had my cousin try to burn, give me like a pirated copy, but eventually I resorted to buying uh, this. Don't arrest my cousin, it, it was a long time ago, okay? Yeah, I liked The Sims 2 a lot. I even had them installed on my other computer for a good re on my last laptop before I got this one, uh, for a good reason, and I'll get to that reason in a bit. Once I get to the next one. A couple years later, I bought The Sims 3, and I was gonna install this on my last laptop, you know, my Dell and Spawn. Of course, now that I check the requirements on the back, I don't think. I'm not sure, can you guys see that? It's probably blurry to you guys, but yeah, according to the requirements, that which I'm looking at at the moment, yeah, I don't think it would have worked on my last laptop. But yeah, I would have installed it, and I do, even though it's not in here, the disc ain't in here, but I do have it, I lost the CD key, so because of that, I ended up installing The Sims 2 on my other laptop. Probably where my history with The Sims would have ended, but I bought a new laptop, as you saw in the last video I've done, But and I got The Sims 3 again. You're wondering, wait, you lost the CD key, how is this on here? This is why. So sorry about that. I bought it on Sims and also on Steam and also got the one of the expansions, The Sims 3 Late Night. Oh yeah, one of my friends plays it, don't pay attention to that, but yeah. So yeah, that's kind of my history of The Sims right there. So yeah, I'm going to keep playing The Sims 3, I'm going to get more expansions for it. You're thinking, Ian, what about The Sims 4? Are you going to be getting The Sims 4? Well, you see, here's the thing. I have heard nothing but bad things about The Sims 4. And I should know, I've only seen two reviews of it, but both of them, okay, one of them was slightly positive, but both of them were ne kind of negative. And I should note that those reviews are, well, were, were from two sources. Patsy Croshaw and his review show, Zero Punctuation, was one of the sources. And the other one was from a very, 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 very enthusiastic Maxis fan, Clint Basinger, and his show, Lazy Game Reviews. So 
So yeah, even though his review did have some positive things in it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting The Sims 4, like, at all. I'm very sad to say. I'm just going to stick to Sims 3. Anyway, that's my history of The Sims franchise, so remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will have a Sims 3 video up at some point. Later, crew.